Moms and dads, teachers and coaches, lifeguards and referees, what do these people have in common? Well, among other things, perhaps, they are people in kids' lives that kids are often told to respect. It's true. Most often, we think about respect in terms of vertical relationships we have with others, namely people who have some authority over us. Those are important for sure. But what about siblings and friends, teammates and classmates, people we know but don't really get along with? What about them? When it comes to respect, these horizontal relationships are equally important. That's why throughout the month of February, we're talking about what it means to show respect to others. We define respect like this, showing others they are important by what you say and do. This idea of valuing others and showing mutual respect is seen all throughout scripture. In fact, we see throughout scripture that all people have value because they were created in God's image. God values us and wants a forever relationship with us. God sent Jesus to make that possible. And we reflect God when we show others that they have value too. Jesus himself talked about how to treat others. It's our memory verse for this month. In Luke 6, 31, we read, do to others as you want them to do to you. Let's check out the stories that help kids discover how they can practice that in their own lives. We start off the month learning more about that kind of respect in Luke 5. At the start of his ministry, Jesus chose 12 disciples who would learn from him and eventually carry on the mission he gave them. Jesus could have chosen anyone to help him, but instead of choosing the most religious or elite men at the time, Jesus chose men who, more than likely, had been overlooked by other religious leaders. These men might have felt like they missed their chance to learn from a rabbi, but little did they know that Jesus would give them a chance to change the world. Bottom line, include people who are left out. Next, we head to Matthew 5, 43 through 47. Jesus brought his followers to a mountain to explain to them what it means to live as part of God's kingdom. During that message, Jesus said something surprising about loving others and treating them with respect. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor, hate your enemy. But here is what I tell you, love your enemies, pray for those who hurt you. Jesus wanted his followers to understand that being kind and loving and respectful matters even more than we think. Bottom line, show respect even when you don't get along. Then, in week three, we discover Jesus at the home of his friends, Mary and Martha. In Luke chapter 10, verse 38 through 42, we see how these two sisters had different things in mind when it came to having Jesus in their home. Mary sat at Jesus' feet while he talked. Martha was busy doing all the things she felt needed to get done. Martha complained to Jesus, but Jesus answered that what Mary was doing was better in that moment. Bottom line, take time to show others they are important. We'll wrap up the month with an unexpected moment of respect found in Matthew chapter 8, verse 5 through 13. A Roman commander approached Jesus with an important request. This man was in charge of the soldiers who did whatever he told them to do. Yet when the commander's servant became seriously ill, he realized that he had no control and wasn't really in charge anymore. He had no power over his servant's health. However, the commander had heard about Jesus and the power he had from God. The commander respected that Jesus had authority to heal his servant, and he had faith that Jesus could do it. Jesus honored the centurion's faith and healed the servant. Bottom line, remember God is most important. As our kids are learning more about what it means to respect others, we also pray they get a glimpse of just how much God loves them, wants a relationship with them, and value them enough to send Jesus for them. We hope that kids will catch a vision of how respect for their peers can be a way that reflect God's love. Just imagine what would happen if kids all across the world started showing respect by valuing each other the way God loves and values them. We think it could change the world.